In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can link your Excel data and your charts to your PowerPoint presentation. The benefit of this is when you update your Excel data or charts, it will automatically update your PowerPoint presentation. This is great when you're working with data that is consistently changing, like a sales report. This helps to ensure that your presentation is up to date. To get started, select the data in Excel and then copy it and then jump over to PowerPoint. And then up here, you want paste special. Select paste link. And you want this top option here and then click OK. It comes in a bit small, but you can move it into position and then resize it as you need. Now, if you need to make changes to this table, you can't do it directly in PowerPoint. You need to go back to Excel and from here, you can make your changes and it will automatically update your PowerPoint slide. Now, if you don't have the Excel file already open and you don't know what it's called or where it's saved, uh, you can get to it from PowerPoint by just simply right clicking on the data here and then go into linked worksheet object and then go to edit. And this opens up your Excel file. It opens it up as read only, but you can click here to edit the workbook and then make whatever changes you need to make. And again, as before, when you go back to PowerPoint, this will update automatically. Linking your Excel charts to a PowerPoint presentation is done slightly different. Let me show you. So start off by copying your chart from the Excel spreadsheet. So I'm just going to right click here and copy and then over to PowerPoint and we go to paste. But this time we select one of these two options. So one option is the destination theme and the other one is the source. So the destination theme is, is the styles in PowerPoint, whereas the source would be the styles in Excel. In this example, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'm just gonna go for destination theme. And uh, similar to before, we're gonna move this into position and then resize it. If you need to change the color or formatting of the chart, you need to do this in PowerPoint. So up here across the top, you've got chart design. So you've got these different options here that you can choose from. You can even change the chart type. Uh, but at this example, I'm just gonna to go to format. I'm just gonna change the fill color and let's give it a white background. However, if you want to update the data in the chart, you will need to do this from the Excel spreadsheet. And if you don't have the Excel spreadsheet already open, or if you don't know what it's called or where it's saved, Similar to before, you just right click on the chart and select edit data and this will open up your Excel file. And then from here, if you needed to, you can update the data and this will update your chart. And if I go back to PowerPoint, the chart is updated automatically. If you found this video useful, click subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss future videos like this. And I will see you in the next video.